Five years after this Metro Atlanta woman disappeared from her home, her family says there are as few answers today as they had back then. But now the family of Jenna Van Gelderen tells CBS 46's Sierra Cummings they're not just hoping for her case to be solved. They're pushing for more state resources to cool cases across Georgia. The GBI is offering $50,000 as a reward for information in this case, but the agency confirmed to us that there are no new tips, no new updates. Still, the family remains hopeful that if someone sees this story, they'll say something. Do you believe your sister is still alive? Um, so last year we actually, we mourned Jenna. Um, we, as a family, made a decision that we kind of expected that she was not Coming back. August 19th, 2017, it was the last time Will Van Gelderen heard from his sister, Jenna. She was sweet, she was loving, uh, loved, loved the animals. The 25 year old was pet sitting at her parents' Druid Hills home on Oakdale Road. Jenna was also on the autism spectrum. It's why her family believes she was more vulnerable. And she was just starting to kind of get a grasp on her adulthood, you know, and, you know, moving out of the house was a big step for her. Weeks after her disappearance, police found her car and even her last phone ping. Most recent records we have have Jenna in the Fairburn area the, the morning after she disappeared. Every day, I'm sad. There are no current suspects, but relatives said they learned someone had texted that night pressuring her to leave. A sentimental family tapestry also went missing, too. While they have grieved Jenna, the Van Gelderens believe the grief would not be as heavy if more resources and communication were dedicated to the 250 unsolved missing persons cases in Georgia. It's frustrating, um, you know, we definitely hope that there was there would be more. We just hope that at the state level that we can start seeing some more changes on how missing persons cases are handled. In Atlanta, C.R. Cummings, CBS 46 News. New